Are you wondering how to have less stress in your life? Each and every one of us experiences the stress overload at some point in our world. In this video, we're gonna break down exactly what stress is so you can better combat it and 10 tips so you can reduce the stress in your life. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here, guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. Stress is a physical response that our body creates when reacting to a challenge. That's all it is. It's a defense mechanism. That adrenaline rush will keep you alive when you need to swerve your bike to avoid traffic or run away when the cops bust that party. So in a lot of ways, stress can be a good thing. It's designed to save us. It triggers our fight or flight response. But in most ways, our societal evolution and our technological evolution have created a lifestyle such that we don't have to be on the defense. We don't have to fight or flee in most of our day-to-day -day lives. There's no starvation that's going to occur in your village. There's no saber-toothed tiger that's going to eat your family. These dangers that were once a reality have been replaced with mental stressors that we worry about. Our workloads, upcoming deadlines, schedules. You may have a presentation coming up that you're anxious about. The fear of not doing well on a final exam. The fear of getting a poor evaluation at work. I say all this because it's very important to understand this, that stress is something that we create for ourselves. It's mostly a mental thing and therefore we have the ability through our decisions to reduce the stress in our lives. So these things that you can do will either exacerbate that stress level or reduce it. Now that we have a better grasp on stress, let's talk about the 10 things that you can do to have less stress in your life. Tip number one is to reach out to a friend, to a family member, talk about what's going on. Commonly we bottle up our stress and we don't let someone else in to talk about it. But what I have found when I talk about my stressors or problems or challenges or issues is that it humanizes the situation and that friend, that family member will say, you know what, I can actually relate to that. And just having a conversation about what's going on with you will make you feel so much better and often you will get some advice from people that you can trust because they will be able to empathize and help you out. We all hold in our stress and pretend like we're the only person dealing with it. But the truth is, is that most people in this world are going through something right now that if we all knew about that, we all just talked about it, it would be much better for all of us. Tip number two is to exercise. My mom is a marathon runner and she has told me my entire life that running reduces stress, exercise reduces stress. And I didn't believe her until about a year ago, I went through a very stressful time time in my life, being separated from my family, not really enjoying my job and some other things. And I started exercising four or five times a week, really just for the brain chemistry and the mental benefits. And guys, it helps so much. The endorphin release that is created after 10 or more minutes of cardiovascular exercise makes you more positive, more optimistic, makes you more confident, more aware, more present. Everything in your brain is just working better once you've exercised. And this helps so much when we're battling stress. Tip number three is to meditate. Meditation is no longer some soft voodoo science. It is a proven hard science that taking a mental break for 10 minutes per day balances you out so much and helps you deal with the challenges in our lives, helps you deal with those stressors. I started meditating about a year ago, again, when I was going through some stressful times, and it really does help, guys. I encourage you to download an app like Headspace or Calm. There's lots of free ones. I use Calm, it's really good. Here's what you need to remember about meditation is that through focusing on your breathing and focusing on other things, you're literally giving your brain a break. Even when you're asleep, our brains are going crazy. Rapid eye movement, and our brains are on fire when we're sleeping. So if they're on fire when we're awake all day too, we literally never get a mental break. Meditation has become a very important thing for many professionals and business people. After interviewing over 200 of the most successful people, Tim Ferriss found that 80% of these leaders do some sort of daily mindfulness or meditation practice. And when I read that, woo, I took meditation seriously. Tip number four is to make your bed when you wake up. Change the world, start off by making your bed. And this might sound silly, but making your bed will create a chain reaction of mental events such that you feel good when you accomplish this many task and that feeling will snowball into doing the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And even if you have a bad day, you still come home to a nice made bed and it will make you feel a little bit better at the end of that day. Five is do not procrastinate. Do your most challenging, your most stressful tasks at the beginning of the day when you have the most energy, the most self-control, the best ability to commit 
to that challenging thing. And if you procrastinate to the next day, it's just gonna stress you out more and it's gonna become this negative spiral. So make sure that you're studying for that hardest exam first. Make sure you're doing that most challenging project first, and then we'll make it easier for you to accomplish the rest of your to-do list, further minimizing your stress. Tip number six is to eat healthy. Foods with lots of preservatives and high in fats and high in sugar can throw off your brain chemistry and your body chemistry. So eating high nutritious foods with lots of vitamins and not with processed chemicals is going to be so much better for your brain, so much better for your productivity, for your ability to accomplish those things that are creating stress for you. So make sure you're eating healthy. It's gonna help you feel so much better. It's gonna help you perform so much better as well. Tip number seven for you college students, this tip might be challenging, but alcohol throws off our chemical balance in our brains and can create heightened levels of anxiety, further exacerbating the stress that's going on in your life. So if you wanna de-stress, if you wanna feel better, drink less alcohol. It also helps you sleep better. We cannot actually hit REM sleep very well when we have alcohol, which is tip number eight, is to make sure that you're getting plenty of rest, plenty of sleep. Make sure that you're getting at least seven, eight hours. I do my best to get seven. I know it's really hard for people who are productive, especially during final exams week and wrapping up the end of the year. But sleeping and allowing your brain to relieve itself and get that proper rest is so important so that you feel better the next day so you can deal with that stress and just keep right on climbing forward. Tip number nine is to make sure you're taking adequate breaks. Make sure that you're resting. Make sure that you're taking the time to recharge. Take a walk from your studies. Make sure that you're not just going grind, grind, grind all day because you will get burnt out and then you will feel even worse. You're gonna be more stressed because you weren't able to actually do everything that you wanted to do that day because you didn't take breaks. So make sure you do things like the Pomodoro technique where it's 25 on and five minute breaks for four periods and then after two hours of that, you can take a longer 30 minute break. But it's super important that when you deplete energy, you recharge and deplete and recharge. Keep yourself going strong. Tip number 10 when you're stressed is to make sure that you're spending time with good people, friends and family and surrounding yourselves with people who will create a positive environment for you and not stress you out more by complaining and worrying and being anxious themselves. Be around people who are gonna make you feel better, make you feel more confident, make you feel optimistic and revitalize your ability to go out there and study well and perform and accomplish the stuff that you need to accomplish so that you're less stressed tomorrow than being around people who are going to make it worse. So those are my 10 tips for reducing stress in your life. If this video helped you guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. If you want access to the Facebook group or the 1% engineer kit, follow the links below. Let me know your best tip for eliminating stress in your life so 1% Nation can learn from you. Comment below about that. Thanks for watching the 1% engineer show guys check out another video and as always stay hungry on your quest to become a one percent engineer cheers